everyone welcome back to my channel this video is going to be about the Wonder Woman beauty book um, this is available at Walgreens and it says $11.99 although my receipt rang up $12 so there's a penny difference but still anyway so this is what the front looks like I love this and then that's the spine there in the back and it's like it's one of the thicker beauty books kind of like the um, it's like the Cinderella one, about the same size. And on the inside, you open it up and it has the little mirror. It has the two looks. So you got a daytime hero and a nighttime hero look. Um, this is the look that I did today. Um, I used everything that it told me to use in there. And it has a little plastic overlay, which these things are just kind of annoying, but um, that's what the inside looks like. You get nine you get nine eyeshadows, a blush, a liquid eyeliner, eyeshadow primer, lipstick, and a little sponge tip brush. So let me kind of get a little bit closer. I went ahead and did swatches of all of these and I'll put those up so you can see. Some of these colors are very pretty. They're not very pigmented but you could probably use some uh, like a white base or some kind of um, more pigmented base underneath. Um, the eyeshadow primer, I used that today too. Didn't seem like it helped at all with the impigmentation. This one here had an overspray. I'm going to try to get it close so you can kind of see what it looked like before. And you can kind of see the glitter on the outside there. These two here are kind of glittery, but uh, it doesn't seem like there are an overspray. It does seem like there's actual glitter in the shadow. Not as glittery as the overspray on that, but there is some glitter. I don't know if you can see, but I will insert a picture with the flash on so you can see the glitteriness of them. This one here is probably my favorite. Really pretty. As you can see in the swatches, um, none of these are completely matte, I don't believe. Um, they're either like a satin or they have some kind of glitter in them. Uh, even the uh, blush has some gold glitter in it. It's really pretty. This one here is really pretty. It has a gold glitter in it too. And the eyeliner is really cute. I thought at first it was going to be a red, but it's actually a black liner, but it just has the uh, Wonder Woman little logo on it. Very cute. And the lipstick also has a little logo on it. It's really cute. And it twists up a little bit. So <laughs> that was really cute. A little small, but it's cute. I'm going to go ahead and tell you the names of all these. This first one is called Golden Age. And we have Legendary Pink. Modern Age, Golden Tiara, Amazon Princess, Marine Ultra, Secret Identity, Emancipation, and Valiant. The blush is called Grace and Power. The eyeliner is called Warrior Black. The, uh, the eyeshadow primer is called Bulletproof. The lipstick is called Amazonian Red. Very cute. I don't know if you can see, but this pan right here is actually crooked in there. I'm afraid it's going to fall out, so I don't want to mess with it too much. could probably glue it back in, but anyway. I think with most of the beauty books, the pigmentation on the colors were not that great. I think the e.l.f. ones may have been a little bit better. I can't really remember, but I know that none of them are really like super pigmented or anything like that, but I just love the artwork on them. I think that's so cute. It says on the side here, Comic Beauty Volume 1. And I was just wondering if they're going to come out with more. That would really be awesome to come out with some more of the um, female superhero books. So that would be great. So, once again, this is what the book looks like. Love the colors on it. It's just so pretty. Very cool. So if you want to see me use this beauty book in a Get Ready With Me, just keep watching. I'm going to try to recreate one of the looks that they have in here. I am going to try to do the daytime hero look on this side. Okay, the first thing it says to do is to use the eyeshadow primer. Next it says to apply Golden Age all over the lid as a base color. I'm just going to use a big puffy brush for that. I've not even touched any of these yet so I don't know how they work or not. So. Next it says to put Emancipation in the crease. And 
I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and blend that a little bit. Okay, it doesn't say to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and try this. I'm going to put the Amazon Princess, this one here, on my lid. It looks kind of shimmery. I don't know if it is. It may just be an overspray, but we'll see. Okay, it also doesn't say to do this, but I'm going to take Legendary Pink, which is the top one, and put that on my brow bone and kind of blend it through the top here. Next it says to take Marine Ultra, which is this really pretty blue, and use that as a liner and also on the lower lash line, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to try it with a dry brush first and see how that works. Okay, I definitely, I feel like I need to wet my brush. So I'm just going to use some Max Fix Plus. Okay, and I'm going to take a little bit of Golden Age here and kind of blend that right underneath my lower lash line there where I put the blue. Just to kind of smudge it a little bit. Next it says to use the blush, Grace and Power, over the apples of the cheeks. For my highlight, I'm going to use the Legendary Pink because it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. So let's see how that looks on my cheeks. I think that worked pretty good as a highlight. I'm going to go ahead and use the same color on my inner corner of my eyes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. I'm going to use CoverGirl Super Sizer. Next it says to use the lipstick, the Amazonian Red, I think it's what it's called, yep. It's just a little cute little bullet, <laughs> and it does twist up. Only thing I have on my lips is just a little bit of lip balm, so no lip line or anything. Okay, so that's the finished makeup look using the Wonder Woman Beauty Book. I think the, the pigmentation on these were okay. I think it made a pretty look, but I think they would do better with a maybe like a white base or just a better eyeshadow primer. This eyeshadow primer doesn't seem to help the pigmentation at all. So it was okay, but it could uh, definitely be better. <laughs> so I have not used the liner yet. I'm not much for liquid liner. I'm terrible at it. So didn't use that. So that's it for the review, swatches, and get ready with me of the Wonder Woman Beauty Book. I just want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. They're both down below. Give me some thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.